Hi everyone, this is Blake with the Electric Bike Company and today I want to talk about the differences between the rigid fork and the suspension fork. Now if you purchase the Model R or the Model F, your bike already comes standard with the suspension fork. Whereas if you get any of our other models, um, you'll have the rigid fork as standard, but you'll have the option to upgrade to the suspension fork. Now a lot of people ask us, should I get the suspension fork on my bike? Well, the answer is it really all depends on how you're going to be riding your bike. If you're going to be riding your bike uh, on some off-road trails like lights trails or dirt trails or bumpy roads, then yes, I highly recommend getting the suspension fork. Otherwise, um, just getting the rigid fork should be just fine, okay? And the great thing about the suspension fork, uh, especially during those light trails or those bumpy roads or those dirt trails, is that it's going to absorb the shock in the front, giving you a much smoother ride, okay? Now, one of the things with the suspension fork is that it does increase the incline of the bike in the front. So if you're a petite rider, I highly recommend to take a look at the geometry of the bike, of, of the model page, to see if adding the suspension fork will still accommodate your size or not, okay? Uh, you can take a look at the inseams, and just letting you know that the suspension fork adds about an inch and a half of height to the front. So definitely take a look at the geometry of the bike in the model page to see if that one and a half inch of incline in the front is going to make a difference if you can ride the bike or not. Okay? But if you're like me, five foot seven, um, then yes, um, adding the suspension fork should still accommodate you with, with whatever model you decide to get. Okay? Now, a few things about the suspension fork that I want to mention is here it has two different dials so one is lock and lockout and the other one is preload so when you're adjusting the suspension fork on your bike with the lock and lockout dial if you put it to the lock position which will show you exactly where it is on there that's going to make it very stiff like if you had a rigid fork on the bike if you put on the lockout it's going to give it that full suspension but the full suspension is dependent on your preload dial right here. So preload can adjust how much suspension the fork is gonna give you on your bike. So you can adjust it to give you a lot or to give you a little. And depending on how much uh, suspension is in that pre-dial is gonna depend on how much suspension it's gonna give you when you're in the full lockout position on this dial right here, okay? So those are some things to uh, take a look at when you're um, adjusting the suspension fork on your bike. All right, and that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions about the differences between the rigid fork and the suspension fork, uh, definitely visit our website at www.electricbikecompany.com for more information. Um, again, my name is Blake with the Electric Bike Company signing off. And as always, safe travels and happy riding.